Hi everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Oh, you might hear meowing in the background. That is my cat who is rubbing up against my leg right now. I tried to let him outside, but I guess he just wants to be in here with me. So, um, Anyway, this week's video, or should I say videos, um, it's probably going to be a two, maybe three parter because I bought a boatload of stuff this weekend. Uh, I went out Friday and Saturday. There weren't that many sales, but the ones that I went to, um, a couple of them were really good. They were more rummage sale type sales, so I got a lot of stuff there. No major crazy home runs, but a few really good solid things, and the rest of the stuff um, seems to be, you know, pretty good too. Uh, so when all is said and done, I spent $70 and should make a lot more than that when all is said and done. So I'm gonna jump right in. Um, went to the first sale on Friday, which was advertised as like a three family super sale. It was beyond pathetic, so I bought nothing. Fortunately, the next sale was a church rummage sale and it, it was only a few minutes from this one I had just been at. So I got there early, which was a good thing, and I ended up um, getting out of the car and going around to the other side of the church where there was already a line, so I'm glad I just didn't sit in my car till 9 o'clock. And went in and picked up this guy, everything, I don't have exact prices because I don't even think they knew what prices were. Um, now everything was 50 cents to $2 max. I think the stuffed animals maybe were 50 cents or a dollar. So I got this Pepe Le Pew hand puppet. Um, I can't find any hand puppets on eBay. I can find finger puppets, but no hand puppets. So, And no one who had the finger puppets up even put the word skunk in their title, or I don't even think they had Looney Tunes. I mean, it was pathetic. I don't know what these people are thinking when they title their items, because that's the only way people are going to find you. You don't have a good title, you must. You might as well take your stuff and just throw it in the corner because it's never going to sell. Um, Alright, so I got him. I got this guy. This is a Geico Gecko Golf Club head cover. His arms are wired so you can move him around a little bit. Um, I'm assuming he was just like a promotional item that you can't really buy him anywhere. So he was a buck. Those are going for around 10. Then I got this cute Monsters Inc. Sully plush toy. He's about 12 inches tall. Nice and clean. He should go for maybe 10. Um, got this really nice mug, and this was the only coffee mug that I bought that day. It's got these um, fox gloves, which I had to look up because I'm not a flower person. But finally figured out what the name of them were. Fox gloves on the side with a nice quote. And it's by... It's not going to focus here. Marjolaine Bastine. She makes a lot of stuff for Hallmark. Really pretty mug. That shouldn't have any problem selling. Um, let's see what else. Oh, got this. The Dark Knight featuring production art and full shooting script hardcover book. Or I think it was a dollar. That might go for about ten. Got some Hallmark ornaments. Only problem is they don't have the box, but I know the Lionel trains are really popular. So I got these all for maybe fifty cents a piece and put them in a lot all together. Probably half the stuff I'm showing you right now is already up. I've been really busting my butt trying to keep on track. Um, everything I bought this weekend I already took pictures of and uploaded them and now I'm just in the middle of listing everything because I just I don't want to get behind like I usually do. Alright so um, the other thing I bought there was clothes. They had a lot of clothes and truth be told I hate clothes. I cannot stand them. I don't like to go clothes shopping for myself I like to go clothes shopping for my daughter, but that's about it. Um, so I don't like clothes. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really clueless, but I'm, I'm trying to learn. So I'll show you guys the things I bought. And if anything 
does really well. I'll let you guys know. I got um, two little kids outfits. This is a toddler size Mickey Mouse soccer outfit which should do well because it's brand new with the tags. I think that was a buck. And then these cute little baby Mickey farmer overalls. Those also were brand new with the tags. I got this pair of Capri pants with this flip-flop print. They have one really, really minor stain, which is hard to even see on camera. So that shouldn't be a problem. These are from, I'm gonna focus right, Kim Rogers. They're size eight, so. They look like they've probably never been worn. I got a Ralph Lauren, why is this thing not focusing? Well, you guys are just going to have to take my word for it. Ralph Lauren, size large. This is kind of a more heavyweight um, plaid cotton shirt. Long sleeves. Then I got this shirt because it says Paradise Found Hawaii. Um, you know, not as bold of a print as I would have liked. I like the more colorful ones. But this one has little images of turtles and... I guess it's supposed to look like coral, I don't know, but we'll see. And then this one is probably going to make your eyes go funky, just warning you now. <laughs> this red and white like candy cane striped shirt has these things over the pockets. If anyone knows what this thing is called, let me know. I don't know. Um, because I want to put it in the description and I don't know what you call these flaps that go over the pockets. I don't know if they're, they're not vents, I don't think, but who knows. I don't know. Some of you clothes people let me know. But I bought it because it looked vintage. It says, um, authentic, on the verge of revolutionizing the world, code zero, except no substitute, original. So, I don't know. It's got a little like smudge on the sleeve here somewhere. I don't know. But you can hardly see it because the shirt pattern blinds you anyway. It's hard to see a stain on this shirt. So we'll see what that does. Um, got an Under Armour uh, mock turtleneck. These always sell well. It does have a little bit of a stain on the sleeve somewhere here. But I should still at least be able to get 10 out of it, maybe a little bit more. Got this Nike um, Fit Dry New York Yankees hoodie. That should do well. Then I got a pair of Banana Republic pinstriped ladies shorts. Those are like a size four or something. I don't know if they're six. I thought they were four. And these also looked like they might be vintage, so I took a chance on these. If anyone knows anything about these brands, you know, let me know. Um, again, it's going to be hard to see. This says Function, F-U-N-K-T-I-O-N, -N, and then um, Junko, I guess, J-N-C-O on the pocket and then again here and then there's another patch down here these are um, nice long men's denim shorts so we'll see how those do and the last piece of clothing I bought at that sale was this which should do really well this should cover all the rest of the clothes that I bought and then some this is a Authentic Articles Shady LTD shirt. This is a line of clothing, and I didn't even know he had a clothing line, um, by Eminem. And it's got a logo there, and another logo, it's not going to focus there. And it says Shady on the buttons, and then there's an image 
So that's supposed to be of him down there. And even one on the back. So I should be able to probably get between 30 and 40 for this, I think. It's in really good condition. I was happy about that. And um, I'll show you the last thing I bought at that sale in a minute because the last thing was um, I got on my way to the checkout while I was waiting in line. And that is going to cover everything I bought on Friday and then some. So if these clothes don't sell, that's, you know, that's okay. Uh, but I did go to two other sales and bought a couple other things. I got this little cross stitch sampler, this little banner with cats and the Scotty dogs, country themed. It was 50 cents. I don't know if it'll sell or not, but I was trying to find something to buy since I drove all the way there. But then I did end up finding this there also, which should do well. Probably make about maybe 20 on it. This is a Tally Ho 100% um, wool vest with all this embroidered embellishment all over it. So, like I said, all these clothes might not sell immediately, but hopefully they'll sell at some point. Um, then I went to an estate sale. They were overpriced, but I went upstairs and I did find an ugly Christmas sweater for two bucks. And it's not that ugly, but it is highly embellished. So, you know, with ugly Christmas sweaters, the more junk that's all over them, the better. So it has all these different Santa images and it's in really nice shape. Oh, I should definitely be able to get at least 20 out of that. And... Last but not least is the last thing that I found on my way out of the rummage sale because the line was ridiculous. They only had one checkout and the ladies were clueless. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, sorry. Oh my god, really? Okay. Sorry guys. Telemarketers, they call my house phone all day long. Alright, so anyway, I'm on my way out. I'm standing in line, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So while I'm standing in line, I'm looking around at stuff around me and I had my smartphone out and I was checking to see if there was anything that I missed. And I saw this puzzle and I couldn't actually reach it at the time that I was looking at it. It was probably about five feet in front of me and I had all these people in line, so I couldn't get at it. But after I looked it up, I was like praying that nobody else would snatch it before I got close enough to snatch it myself. Um, this is a Disney photo mosaic puzzle, Sorcerer's Apprentice. There are actually two of these Sorcerer's Apprentice. There's one of him in this pose and then there's another one. This is the most sought after of the two. So keep an eye out for this one in particular. Um, when I looked this up on my phone, and thank God this is new and sealed in the packaging, they go for, I don't know, around 50 to 60. They have one on Amazon right now that they want 75 for, and then two other people on eBay want 130 to 150, something ridiculous like that. So, um, a few of these have sold for between like 50 and 70. So I put mine up for 70 with free shipping. So, um, and I already have a watcher on it and I just put it up last night. So fingers crossed, this should sell well and cover everything that I bought. So everything else is gravy and I will be back to show you guys some more. I don't really have any exciting stories for you, um, from Friday. So. Um, I guess that's it. So I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you in my next video with the rest of the stuff that I bought on Saturday. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.